Hey guys, good afternoon. How's everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am going to crochet this bunny ears. Okay. And I am going to use number 3 cotton yarn and the size C 2.75 mm crochet hook, a marker. If you don't have a marker, you can just cut a piece of yarn and then use that as your marker. A yarn needle and a scissor okay guys okay we're going to begin to begin we're going to make a magic ring wrap around yarn on your finger twice one two and into the ring we are going to make six single crochet Is my camera okay? Okay. Make six single crochet into the ring. This is not counted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to close the ring. To close the ring, we are going to pull the inside strand. We have two strands here. One is in the outside and one is in the inside. The one from the inside, we are going to pull that from left to the right, halfway. Okay. Now we are going to pull the tail, pull it nice and tight. Alright. This tail, I am going to crochet this as long as I go. We're not going to do the joining, okay? We're going to continue working. Um, make one single crochet into the first stitch. Okay, now put the marker. and make two single crochet into the next one single into the next two single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and two single crochet into the last stitch okay you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine you should have nine stitches now remove the marker for the round three we are going to make one single crochet in each of the next two one put the marker again two and two single crochet into the next one single crochet in each of the next two two single crochet into the next one single crochet in each of the next two and two single crochet into the next hold on guys okay 
okay you should have two four six eight ten twelve twelve stitches around remove the marker and for the round four we're going to make one single crochet into the beginning stitch put the marker again and we're going to continue working one single crochet into each stitches around Okay, you should have still the same number of counting from the previous round. Okay, you should have 12 single crochet around. Remove the marker. And for the round five, we're going to make single crochet in each of the next two. Put the marker in the beginning of the round. And two single crochet into the next. Single crochet in each of the next two. Two single crochet into the next, one single in each of the next two, two single crochet into the next, sorry about the sound guys, <laughs> we're just nearby the emergency hospital that's why every day I'm hearing that. single in each of the next two and two, two single crochet into the last stitch remove the marker you should have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen now for the round six we are going to make a single crochet into the beginning stitch put the marker and then we are going to make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the next single crochet in each of the next three two single crochet into the next single crochet in each of the next three again two single crochet into the next single crochet in each of the next three and two single crochet into the last stitch okay you should have 20 stitches around remove the marker for the round seven make one single crochet into the beginning stitch put your marker again and continue working one single crochet into each stitches around with a total of 20 
Okay, you should have 20 stitches around. Now remove the marker. And for the round 8 until round 13, you are going to repeat this last round that we just finished making one single crochet into each stitches around with a total of 20 single crochet in each rounds and always um, use your marker in the beginning of each rounds okay go ahead and finish your round 8 until round 13 making single crochet in each stitches around and I will meet you for the next round okay I finished my round 13 so for the next round we're going to do a decrease for this round okay we're going to make single crochet into the beginning stitch and put your marker again and make one single crochet in each of the next seven okay now we are going to do the decrease we are going to use two stitches together slip hook into the next stitch pull up yarn slip hook into the ne next stitch pull up yarn we have three loops on hook draw all three loops okay and make single crochet in each of the next eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight now we are going to do the decrease again using two stitches together insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn we have three loops on hook draw all loops okay you should have um 18 stitches around now for the round 15 single crochet into the first stitch and put your marker and we are going to continue working one single crochet into each stitches around okay you should have 18 single crochet around for the round 16 make single crochet into the beginning single something is biting me and then put your marker and go ahead and make one single crochet into each stitches around with a total of 18 single crochet
Okay, now remove the marker. And for the round 17, we are going to do the decrease again. Single crochet into the beginning stitch and put your marker and make one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to do the decrease using the two stitches. Insert hook into the next stitch, pull up yarn. Insert hook into the next stitch, pull up yarn. Three loops on hook, draw all loops. Okay. And single crochet in each of the next seven. One, two, three, four, five six seven and then do the decrease into the last two stitches okay you should have 16 stitches around and for the round 18 we are going to make one single crochet into each stitches around put your marker in the beginning of the round go ahead and make one single crochet around Okay, I have the total of 16 single crochet around. Remove the marker. And for the round 19, we're going to repeat this last round. Make one single crochet into each stitches around. Always use your marker in the beginning of each round, okay? Go ahead and make one single crochet around again. okay remove the marker for the round 20 we're going to do the decrease again so single crochet into the beginning single put your marker and make one single crochet in each of the next five one two three four five and we are going to do the decrease using the next two stitches and make one single crochet in each of the next six stitches one two three four five six and using the last two stitches we're going to do the decrease okay 
you should have 14 single crochet around and for the round 21 we are going to make one single into the beginning stitch put your marker and go ahead and make one single crochet into each stitches around okay remove the marker you should have 14 stitches around and for the round 22 flatten it okay you have to flatten the piece and then using both thickness we are going to crochet single crochet across okay using both thickness one two three four five six now we can close our work here and cut the yarn make sure to leave a long link of, of yarn for you to join it into the head of the doll okay now using the yarn needle we are going to fold it and sew the both side together okay we are going to fold the piece like this and we are going to use the last stitch and the, the last stitch and the one before the last okay we're going to sew it together one more okay and then we can just leave it like that and use this to sew it into the doll and this is how the piece looks like hold on someone order a bunny doll this is the doll that they ordered since that i am making the doll so i decided to do a tutorial for the ears for you guys okay this is how it looks like when you join it all right now thank you for joining me today guys i hope you like it if you have question just leave a comment and i will try to respond as soon as i can i believe this is very easy for you guys to do this measures four inches long and it's perfect for um, small blushes okay thank you so much guys if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and also please like and share my videos and yeah that's all for today thank you so much and see you again for my next video tutorial thank you bye bye